I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, Fishbowl Experts since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of popular reports you can use to see what's going to go over to QuickBooks and what already went over to QuickBooks. Right here on the accounting screen, you'll see that there's a green triangle. We wonder what's going to happen if we click on this button. The green triangle means that something is in the queue and something is going to go over to QuickBooks. But what is going to go over? Go to Reports, click Adjustment Report or Export Summary Report. I'm going to click the Export Summary Report. And since I want to see what's going to go over to QuickBooks, I want to take out this date range so it's not blocking any of the data I want to see. Click on Optional. And just for ease of, of viewing, click Format Report for Exporting. That puts everything on one page. And then these are the two filters you want to understand. Okay, Show Not Posted means show me what's going to go to QuickBooks. Show me what has not yet exported. Show me what's in the queue. Okay, so if we want to see what's going over to QuickBooks, we want to uncheck this box and check this box and make sure everything else is checked. We'll click OK. And we'll see here the red square means it has not gone over to QuickBooks. So under purchase orders, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, a lot, of, a lot of purchase order related transactions that have not gone over to QuickBooks. Now, what this means is something from this purchase order is going to go over. It doesn't tell you whether it's an item receipt or a bill. Something from this purchase order, and these are the items that are going to go over. We'll find out later if it creates a bill or an item receipt. Scroll down and we see work order summary. Nothing in the work order section is going to go over. Scroll back up and we see sales order summary. This means nothing in the sales order summary from the sales orders are going to go over. Okay, so that's everything from the export summary report. It shows you everything a sales order creates, shows you everything a purchase order creates, everything a work order creates. What I mean is something has to be fulfilled from that sales order in order to send a transaction to QuickBooks and create an invoice. Something has to be fulfilled from the purchase order to create an item receipt or a bill. And then the work order has to be finished in order to create an adjustment in QuickBooks. Purchase orders themselves are now sent to QuickBooks. Sales orders themselves are not sent to QuickBooks. And of course, work orders are not sent to QuickBooks. Let me show you one thing that is wrong on this report that is commonly um, misunderstood. And shortly, I hope Fishbowl is going to fix this. I'm currently in 19.2, and it's just the description. It's just a typo in the description, but it's an important thing to understand. If we take a look at the description for this report under Modify Report. It says, Work order amounts reflect the total adjustments made, not the final cost of the work order. It's actually just the opposite. This Export Summary Report shows you the total amount of the work order, not the adjustment that's being made or being sent to QuickBooks. Hopefully shortly Fishbowl will either change the description or change the report so the two match. So that will tell you what's going to go over from an order perspective. This other report right here under Reports, Adjustment Report, will tell you what is going to go over from a cycle count adjustment or a cost adjustment or a scrap type of adjustment. All right. So currently there are no standard reports that will show you, uh, say, changes to a customer or changes to a vendor or anything like these. These are just transaction-related reports.
Thanks for joining us today on a quick overview of the reports you can use to see what's going over to QuickBooks. Take a look at the next video to see how to use this report to look at what already went to QuickBooks. Thank you.